This is India's first turbo CNG car. Yes, you heard it right. While we have already reviewed previous Nexons on our channel, we have never gotten this 1.2 litre three cylinder turbo CNG engine. The Rivertron has now gotten Tata's iCNG technology and I'm here to find out how is it to drive and what are all the new features in this new Nexon. As we celebrate the innovation and approachability embodied in the Tata Nexon iCNG, we also pause to honor the visionary who paved the way for generations of progress and integrity in our country, Sri Ratan Tata. His leadership, values and unwavering commitment to the betterment of India and its industries have left an indelible mark on the world. Today, we dedicate this video to his memory. Thank you Sri Ratan Tata for inspiring us to dream big, work hard and always strive for excellence. Your legacy will continue to drive us forward. Talking about the looks, the Nexon ICNG shares quite a lot of it with the Tata EV, the Nexon EV. Cool thing about the Nexon ICNG is that it comes in really nice colors, especially this one. This is the creative variant in this creative ocean color, which is a very bright teal sort of color, which looks really, really nice. From the back, you can see that the body cladding and the rear bumper is quite plasticky, but it does get a shiny bit of trim right underneath. Moving on towards the side profile, you get a set of aero wheels like you get in the Nexon EV to increase that mileage and reduce the drag coefficient. In the creative variant, you also get the option of choosing a black or a white roof. I would have preferred in a black roof because it would have looked much more sportier. And moving on to the front, it is pretty much the same Nexon EV style design as you would see. Overall, it is a rather pretty car and in this color specifically, it really pops out. In fact, if I were to buy a Nexon, this would be the color that I would go for, but just with a black roof. Apart from this creative ocean color with the white roof, you can also opt for a solid creative ocean, a flame red color with or without a black roof, a Daytona gray, again with or without a black roof, or you can get a Calgary white car with a black roof. But I feel that regardless of the color you get, the new Nexon is quite a looker and looks much more modern compared to the older designs of the Nexon. But the exterior of the car isn't the only place that has gotten a glow up. The interior too has gotten a massive overhaul compared to the older generations of the Nexon. The interior of the Nexon ICNG is pretty similar to the other Nexon counterparts, but they have quite a couple of changes like this leatherette trim in the front with uh, this really cool design in front of the dashboard. You have a 10.25 inch floating display that is made by Harman. You get four speakers and four tweeters by Harman, a wireless charger right here and a dual pane panoramic sunroof that is cool thing voice assisted. Close the sunroof. No, open the sunroof. Say a command. <laughs> Wait, I'll try again. Open the sunroof. Sure, opening sunroof. Wow. Apart from all of that, the Nexon is a really nice place to be in. You have ventilated seats if it gets too hot. In fact, if it gets too hot, you have a feature called Express Cool. You just have to press a button, the windows all come down and the AC goes on full blast. So it basically cools the entire cabin uh, in a very quick way for you to be able to not suffer in the heat. The controls have all turned to this capacitive touch style control, which uh, can be a little difficult to see if the light is reflecting on it from the top, but it is still pretty uh, capacitive and it does work pretty nicely. Even though Tata has had a fantastic glow up in the recent years in terms of interior, there are still a couple of places where you could nitpick about hard plastics, like on the bottom of the door and here even in the center console. Yes, 
everything else is very nice and i am very happy to see that the nexon is just getting better and better on the inside but there is still room for improvement i would say time to talk about the ps the resistance the engine in the nexon icng this is the first indian car to come with cng technology in a turbocharged engine we are very familiar with the 1.2 liter three cylinder turbo revotron engine it's always been a really peppy block and we've seen it push 120ish horsepower it now comes with 98.57 bhp and 170 newton meters of torque all of that torque is available between 2 and 3000 rpm nice and low okay so a slight correction in this bit the tata icng when driven in its petrol mode makes 120 horsepower which is the same as any other 1.2 liter nexon But pop the car into CNG mode, and the horsepower figures drop from 120 horsepower to 99 horsepower, which, in my opinion, is not that bad of a trade-off considering the amount of money you save driving the car in its CNG mode compared to the petrol one. And that 20 horsepower is not really going to be a very noticeable difference. Back to the video. But there's a little bit more technology than what meets the eye. You see, now the ECU handles. both the maps both the fueling maps the cng and the petrols so when you are running out of one fuel it will automatically switch to the other fuel without having to press a switch or anything at all it will do it by itself and the other added benefit is that now that the fueling of the cng is in the ecu it can be embedded into the starting sequence and this car can just start on cng mode something that is not really recommended with normal cng kits that brings me to the tanks because they were pretty ingenious with that too let's check it out open up the nexon icng's boot and you notice the lack of a cng tank in the boot so you actually have usable boot space 321 liters now in the normal nexon you do get 382 which is a lack of 60 liters but that has gone into the tanks right here so you get two 30 liter tanks which can hold up to 9 kg of cng which is a decent amount and you still have quite a bit of place to work with so it's pretty ingenious and uh, if you are wondering where the wheel is it's now at the bottom of the rear so you just need to uh, put a bolt in to the jacking point and push it down basically so that is the boot space and yeah time to see how it drives because i'm pretty sure that's what you guys want to know so let's go The Nexon has always been a pretty chill car to drive whatever you choose whichever variant you choose EV IC diesel petrol or even the CNG is the same case it is a fairly refined car to drive and it also is pretty silent on the inside talking about the fueling of the CNG mode specifically you do feel like it is a little bit more demure and uh, Yeah it's a little numb on the throttle Excess however cooling normal cooling mode on however <laughs> it is uh, not something that you're going to have to keep switching to petrol mode in order to overtake it still has more than enough oomph uh, in the bottom of the rev range for you to be able to do uh, steep hills overtakes and all of that other stuff thanks to the 170 newton meters of torque being available pretty low in the rev range the peak torque comes at 2500 rpm which basically means at the tap of your throttle you're going to be having enough oomph to push along in petrol mode it does feel like a more sedate 1.2 revotron uh, but that's also because it is in a pretty lumpy car too One thing that I found really annoying in uh, the Nexons is Ira. Ira is a little interruptive, and uh, yeah, she speaks pretty slowly, so you're going to have to wait and listen to her. But 
apart from that the infotainment system all of the uh, software and everything that requires you to lose attention from the street is actually pretty straight forward so you're not really deviating your attention uh, for a long time away from the streets the screen is also really nice and bright and even the instrument cluster the large digital instrument cluster is very easy to read and really easy to go through so overall it is a really nice car to drive and thanks to its new interior it's also a nicer place to be in but this is the driver's hub so let's find a little bit of an empty patch and see what it is actually on the top take the nexon icng out and you will be pleasantly surprised the petrol mode is pretty punchy and so is the cng mode is just not as responsive as the petrol mode but it still does a pretty good job at uh giving you some oomph chuck it into a corner and yes the car has a lot of body roll it is a crossover suv at the end of the day but the suspension is plush and it is still pretty flickable it is quite friendly while doing transitions from left to right and even the steering feel is uh pretty connected you get quite a lot of feedback from the road and it doesn't feel like a numb tool overall there are a couple of places where the driving experience could be enhanced is uh, the gearbox it feels like it's made of plastic and i really struggle moving through gears and you can feel the flex in the knob which is a little unnerving and uh, the clutch pedal also is pretty numb however this is not meant to be a a car that you chuck around corners to be honest this is supposed to be your daily driver your commuter and it does that job in a fantastic manner in conclusion the guy who needs to look at this cng is the kind of guy that needs a car that is frugal that is dependable that is refined and that is subtle this is a very very nice car and at the price of 16 lakhs for the top variant you do get a lot of bells and whistles for the price yes if uh you want something a bit more enthusiastic there are many other options but if what you want is to go from a to b in a very supple way and in a very luxurious manner because this car is really quiet and supple you should really look at this because i don't think i've driven a tata that's this refined and that is pretty high praise In conclusion I really think that the Nexon ICNG is a banging option for that person that isn't willing to commit to an EV but still want something that's frugal, cheap to run and dependable most of all. The Nexon ICNG does all of those jobs very well. It is a refined car, it is quiet, it is a very nice place to be inside and it also rides pretty well. So if you need an everyday car that will not burn your pocket this is definitely a very good shout yes the sonnet the venue and all the other cars in the segment don't have a cng option and if you want something more thrilling you definitely could go for them but if you want something that's going to save money well this because it basically runs on pennies a day thank you so much for watching do let us know what are your thoughts on the nexon icng and would you pick it as your daily driver over any other car in the segment Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.